this shit again. Hey, I'm Caitlin, and I'm pretty pissed. <laughs> my name is Polly Faust. I've been a card-carrying feminist pretty much my entire life. I don't know, I just feel like in this country we're moving one step forward and ten steps back. I'm pretty pissed about this attack on Planned Parenthood. Um, I mean, I'm a woman, obviously, but I'm also a woman that has been to Planned Parenthood many, many times. So I take this attack kind of personally. Well, I think anything that affects the people I care about also affects me. That's what's, I'm just confused about why anybody is enforcing discrimination and enforcing oppression. I don't get it. I don't understand. It's just like, we, they passed the law in June that that gay people have the right to marry, and now they're taking away the rights of women. It's just like, what country do we live in? Like, it's just like, they're, like, yeah, I don't know. It's a woman's right to decide what she wants to do with her body. This is America in 2015, and if you're gonna say that we have equal rights, give us equal rights. Because birth control, with, if I didn't have insurance, birth control is, crazy expensive. It's expensive even, even with insurance. Whereas as a guy, I can go to the store and buy, you know, a 12 pack of condoms for a few bucks. And with the wage gap, guys are making more than women, so why are women more expensive than guys? I think it's important to get out there. I think it's important to say the word abortion all the time. Um, I don't, it's not something to be afraid of. I think one of the one of the problems that the pro-choice movement is having is that a lot of people are afraid of saying that word and talking about the concept. And all across the country and all of these laws aren't designed to keep women safe. None of this is about keeping women safe. Like the main argument though is that like, oh well like that baby you know, had a right, whatever. But like, moms make decisions for their kids all the time. Like for actual babies that are born, like mothers decide like, yes, this is what I want to feed them. This is what, it's like, for me, it's kind of like the same thing, you know? So that really makes me angry. Especially considering the primary like group, group of people who are getting abortions, people who otherwise don't have the means to raise children. If you want people to have children, give them the ability to do so. But apart from that, there's no shame in having an abortion. There's no shame in saying you've had an abortion, and I'm tired of constantly backing away. It's impossible to affect change alone. I'm terrified, um, but I'm also hopeful because there are a lot of us doing really great, weird, interesting work in the um, in the reproductive justice movements and. I feel like we could deal with this. We didn't make this video with the intent of making anyone angry or upset or to make anyone hate us or to make any aunts or family members or cousins or anything upset or distraught because of our beliefs or opinion. We, If you are, if this video did make you upset or any of the things that I said, that's good because that means that you have an opinion and that means that you think something and you feel something and you you have an, an idea or an opinion about something and that is truly such a great thing to have. It's so important. It doesn't matter if you agree with anything that anyone said in this video or not. It is important to have a thought and to believe in something and to follow that through. And it's so important to, fall, to uh, surround yourself with educated people and smart people and people that understand and know and have ideas and opinions as well. We believe so strongly that you yourself as an individual need, need to be educated. You need to dare to have an opinion. You need to dare to speak up and speak out about things that are issues, things that you believe strongly about. A lot of things have been said in this video and I hope that you take time to think and share and read and discuss and learn something new and something different but with all that's been said all that has been said and all that will be said i think for now we will just say until next time